they, um, music courses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I had a I had a music scholarship for a band. Really? Yeah. What um, instrument? Percussion. Oh. Yep. I played quads in in, uh, in marching band. Did it work out? I wanted to be a shrink. Mm -hmm. I can see that though. I want to be a shrink. You know, sit on my couch. Pay me money. You tell me your problems. <laughs> I can see that. I can, I can really see that. Could you? But you kind of do that, though, with food, though. You know, you sit down and you have a conversation. You ask about how your day was. And you talk over food. That's what food is. That's what having dinner and full food is. That's, that's, a, that's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. They're probably right. I mean, like a broken record versus, you know, lowly DJ. I don't know. I so, am learning something new. I never knew you DJed. Yeah, I DJed. And so, you know, when I was DJing and stuff, you know, when you do the, the nighttime show, like at night, whatnot, right? You're not following the schedule anymore <laughs> because they have a schedule, and like Walter was saying, it's a schedule of all the songs you have to play. And it's color on when I was a DJ, it was a color coded chart. All the songs were already color coded. Red is a high, yellow, you know, it's a medium high. It was high now, it's now, it's now, it's coming out of rotation. Then the green was like, it's just an album, you know, pick it. It's, it, it, it was, it's, it's not high. You know, you didn't feel it. And so it was it was everything was color coded and say, okay, this if you played uh, the red is top of the hour, the green is like maybe the five minutes to you know to, to, to the top of the hour. You, you can play a, a green. And then it's like red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. The entire show. And that's how we that's how we ran our station. And everything went from um, analog equipment to digital equipment, which was different. Okay. For me, that wasn't as much of a shift because I, I started DJing on my own and also I did some work doing sound reinforcement with a company called RCI Sound Systems. And uh, so I was working in the rental department. People would do events. Like, uh, what I remember was we did sound reinforcement at the Capitol. Sonny, what's his name? Sonny Bono was still a uh, congressman back then before he died in the accident. And, um, you know, did sound for that. But to me, it just kind of made sense because working in there, they taught you about audio boards. And for me, it was in and out. And for me, it was straightforward because I had already been working with my DJ boards. I already had the idea, it goes in this way, it goes up that way, it goes through the board, you process it through the knobs or whatever, then you send it to another channel, you send it up through the board. And it made sense to me in a way that a lot of other people didn't really make sense. Networking the same way, in one end, out the other end. And the real question is, how do you get it from here to over there? You know, um, right. you have a program in IP, you have to work with another program. There's ways to do it. So it just kind of made sense to me. So it wasn't much of a transition for me. It may have been for a lot of people. Not to brag about I'm just, just saying. You know. okay. I think get frustrated, though, because I spent, transformed, I spent months learning how to go, <laughs> and kids are going, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. What were you doing? What were the kids doing again? Oh, the now, and we get, no, no, no. But what, how were they doing it again? Put your butt. I like the I like the sound. I like the sound. One of the reasons it took me so long is because I didn't really have these mentors who were better than me. And the transform scratch is really about the, the uh, cross pattern, mm -hmm. not so much the platter. And I spent months of trying to figure it out, <laughs> trying to figure it out, and it was the movement of the cross pattern mm -hmm. into the record. And again, they were. We need another demo. We need another demo. Yeah. I just wanted you to make the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, what was that again? <laughs> well, I'm dating myself some more. You know. Um, <laughs> You heard a lot of Transform Scratch with Public Enemy songs. Mm -hmm. uh, Terminator X did a lot of those. Mm -hmm. uh, Jazzy Jeff used to do a lot of those mm -hmm. back in the day. I mean, he still does them now, I'm sure. But, okay. uh, I'm trying to think of contemporary examples. You really don't hear it anymore. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Doesn't really fit with the triplet flow. Mm. It's one of my passions. I could sit here and ramble mm -hmm. for hours. Like, you could probably sit there and ramble for hours about food. I could sit there and ramble about yeah. music and music. Like Let's see, Grace first. I know we all heathens, we, we, just, we just literally just ate. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we pray, we thank you for the food we're about to eat. We nourish the body and strength of Jesus Christ, and we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's dig in. These are so pretty. What? I was told I need to make the show look nice and pretty. This is really pretty. For, for, like, for the dining experience. Okay. So I went on Amazon and I was like, oh, that's cute. Okay, I'll order that. It's pretty. It wasn't that expensive either. 
Nice. That's that cabbage. Well, so you was telling me about this essential oil yes, last time I was here. Uh huh. You heard that? Uh, yes, I did. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think that's something special for you. What did you say? What? I see, that's the cap coming out. Uh, what, what, the essential water? Or, uh, like wait, okay. No, I'm like four different no, conversations. This, this, this. Oh, okay. I was talking <laughs> about the, the, um, what are these called? Fleur de lis. Napkin, I guess. Napkin, I thought it was another name for it, but yeah. These are napkin rings. These are very pretty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You love me. You know I like them. Mm-hmm. I got a thing for pink and bling. Mm-hmm. Like a butterfly. Bling. That's, oh, me too. Mm-hmm. That's how I sign everything as a butterfly. butterfly. Do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Butterflies, pink and bling. Mm-hmm. And potatoes pretty good. <laughs> I forgot it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me easy. What? Closes his eyes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to taste a lot of food today. So, for what do you think was the best thing that you tasted? If you had to rank one, two, three, your top three for today turkey wing. Mm-hmm. Find the beignet with the turkey. Okay. I like that. Hey. Mm-hmm. You on top three? Is that hard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably put the ribs first, the turkey wings second. Which and ribs? It was two different ribs. Uh, the 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 smoked ribs. Okay. <clears throat> and then third, the big news. Which mm-hmm. one? Three beignets. Making this hard. <laughs> 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 uh, the plain beignets. I'd like to. They were simple. Oh, the plain beignets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm with Rochelle, it's our um, number one, which <laughs> the stuff, what was stuff? The um, turkey wings. The, the, yeah, yeah, so that was my number one. Um, I actually enjoy, what, is this a rib? Yeah, it's a, rib. It's a fried rib. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, but I'm, I, I don't know. Um, it's been so much. Um, the beignet with the crab meat and that was really good. That was really tasty too. And so yeah, I'm gonna say that's one two. And the really because I do like sweet stuff, like I said. So um the fruit mixture, I like the fruit mixture a lot. Again, it wasn't super sweet, but it was sweet enough for me. It was the sweet that you get from, from fruit and I like that. So yeah, that would be my number three. Okay. But, but that order um, changes like every five seconds. So, yeah, but that's what I'm going with first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the beignets with the fruit would fill would have been like the everybody's top Number choice. What you want? It's a toss up between the beignet, the plain beignets and the beignets with the crab cakes in them. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it's more about the unique experience. So I've had some really, not, well, okay, I'll call them unique. Um, with the Cajun seasoning and the way that you've prepared some of the foods today, I've really just enjoyed trying different things and trying different textures and techniques mm-hmm. or uh, taste. Um, I'm really enjoying the crab cakes. Um, again, I mentioned the beignets, the plain beignets more than, I actually like the plain ones more than I like the ones with fruit. Really? Together, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of pedestrian in that. I guess I would have gone for more of a donut taste if I wanted, mm-hmm. <laughs> if I wanted to add the fruit to mm-hmm. it. But uh, those are really good, uh, the ones with the crab cakes I mentioned again. And loving it. I guess if I had to pick a number one, I'd have to say your chicken legs. If I had to pick a number one. Chicken legs? Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. I mean, she was talking about the face I was making. <laughs>